Shawshank Redemption. That's the name of the movie I was thinking of earlier. Not important, but that was it. a dream. I feel Darling reached out to me through the hotline. I have a feel. Problem in the foundation. That was Ati's vacation spot. We need to check this out. Jesse Faden, director of the Federal Bureau of Control. I still don't quite believe it. You always knew where we were headed. Jesse, good to see you. We've got Dylan situated in his containment cell like you asked. I've got medical staff running tests as we speak, and I'd be happy to walk you through the details later. Other than that, what's next? With the slide projector turned off, the hiss are shut out, but we're stuck with the ones already here. We can't lift the lockdown until they're all eradicated. If any hiss ever got out, that would be the end of it. Eliminating them all will take time. Look, I'll do what I can on my end, but my research is progressing slower than I'd like. I think I can help with that. I am making you the head of research, effective immediately. I want you to use everything the Bureau has, every resource, every confidential scrap of data, and find a way to keep the hiss out for good. That's... really? I mean, yes, yes, I can certainly... Y yes! <laughs> yes, I accept. You'll do great. Besides, I didn't really have anyone else lined up. I'm honored, Jesse, really. Thank you. Do you remember Mr. Tomasi, the head of communications? The hiss he was changed into showed up in containment, near the turntable. I'll take care of it. That thing's not getting away this time. I've heard reports about his particular use of language and intonation when repeating the hiss babbling. The biological and behavioral distinctions between different hiss corrupted individuals is truly fascinating. I wonder if I could categorize the data. And she's already off on her own thing. How do you feel about me taking over as director? 
You act like it just happened. You've been director since we first met, remember? I am still thrilled. Nothing's changed. Not for me. But the Bureau has changed. Trench and Darling are gone. Their knowledge, anything not written down, disappeared with them. They knew the Bureau better than anyone. They're the Bureau's past, Emily. We won't operate like they did. We'll learn from their mistakes. We'll be better than they ever were. We won't ever be like them. When the hiss got into my head, I saw some weird things. I think Darling even spoke to me. Does that make any sense to you? Empirically, no, but phantom voices as well as hallucinatory states are not uncommon here. And considering the forces that Dr. Darling was working with, he could have been transferred to a different plane of consciousness, physically or otherwise. And that doesn't upset you? Oh, very. The fact that he hid those forces from me? It's infuriating. But Darling's dream was always to look beyond our reality. This time he may have taken a step too far, but as long as his consciousness can perceive his surroundings, I'm sure he's loving it. Maybe Darling was just trying to protect you from the darker side of his work. Fuck that. I'm not a child. Like, don't just assume I'm gonna consider something morally repugnant. Which it all was. Which it all was, of course. How was Dylan? The same. I, I can't detect any his activity, but his physiology has certainly been altered by it. And I can't tell if his brain activity is genuine or simply the aftermath of the hiss, like spasms. Dylan could wake up tomorrow for all I know. I really can't say. Then I just have to wait for him. That's fair. He waited a long time for me. But don't worry. We'll be monitoring him round the clock. If he wakes up, we'll be ready. I don't mean that in a hostile way, just... Well, you know. I hear you. My brother isn't exactly popular around here. I hope one day he'll have the chance to change that. So, there was a moment after Hedron died that I couldn't feel my powers. The hiss got into my head. Just for a moment. So that explains the HRA outage. Before we knew what was happening, the hiss had us. They were in my head. I saw terrible things. I mean, I was about to go under forever when the hiss was pushed back. The HRAs had come back on. Dylan vanished afterwards, and we fought off the hiss that came after him. So if Hedron's death knocked out the HRAs, that means there must be a new local source for them to relay. Which I'm guessing must be... Me. You. Hedron is dead, assuming that word even applies to a resonant-based life form. But whatever it awakened in you, the power you call Polaris, is still active. Or at least, that's what my instruments are telling me. I don't think we're ever gonna understand all of this. And I'm okay with that. I'm just glad you're here with me. That's good to know. Thanks, Emily. I found Dylan attacking the astral plane and the board. What was he hoping to accomplish? Huh. Since they arrived, his have been corrupting objects of power, which have an inherent link to the astral plane. Maybe their goal was to access the astral plane and the board itself. That still doesn't tell us why. His motives are a difficult thing to work out, but I have been digging through confidential files and noticed a strange gap in knowledge regarding the board. Looks like any data on them has either been deleted or was never gathered in the first place. Then maybe it's time someone looked into that. Maybe it is.
Well, I've got a bureau to run. See you soon. Yes, ma'am, Director Faden. Please, Emily. Not even as a joke. Quiet, transdimensional. This place really suits Ati. So that etching is the door. Okay, let's try opening it. No time for sightseeing. The board said this was an emergency. <laughs> Looks like no one's been down here in a while.
pretty. Emily would be having a field day down here. The foundation. Bottom of the oldest house. Stop the hiss. Marshall? How was she on the hotline? Unless... She's dead. Oh, Jesus. She seemed like the kind of woman who could survive anything. This down here too. I only heard of the Foundation when I became Head of Operations. The very bottom of the oldest house. Director access only. Just the name alone is classified. Zachariah gave me a tour the day I was promoted. Said I should see it for myself. To understand. After that, I snuck down on my own from time to time to keep tabs on the place. And on them. But nothing ever changed down there. Not even the walls. It's solid, permanent, different from the rest of the house. Of course, they were always watching me. I never stayed long. I'm not stupid. I have to stop the hiss from finding this place. I'm the only one who can.
Those paintings look old. Like, old, old. now.
The astral plane is cutting into our dimension. What if this happens in the upper floors? It'll destroy the Bureau. Use my head of research right about now. Marshall? Marshall! You're alive! Wait! It's Jesse! The director! Whoa. This place is huge. Marshall? Can you hear me? She was on the hotline, so that person couldn't have been Marshall, right? One problem at a time. Let's see what's going on with that pillow first. <laughs> it's been five days since we first entered...
This broken pillar is called the Nail. It was broken by something, and now the astral plane is bleeding into the foundation, which will destroy the oldest house, the Bureau, and everyone inside. I need to find four locks, or keys, or whatever, to stop that from happening. But I'm the director. I've handled worse. This should be simple. Ish. You with me?
it's been five days since we first entered the building. Traversing 